alaikum. My name is Hazel Bashiro. I am a senior here at Oregon Islamic Academy and I plan on studying biology in the fall, inshallah. I would have to say my favorite memory was the day we celebrated the Prophet Wasallam's birthday. On that day, the students and staff of OIA came together and we celebrated through a series of games and activities. I'd say it was one of the best ways we've gotten school spirit from everyone in the school. It was a great way to engage and uplift the future of our Allah. My name is Mona Daher. I'll be attending Howard University in the fall. My favorite memory at MET was creating the Real Muslims Y, which was a media literacy class that we took. And through this YouTube channel, we were able to address current world issues, integrate by design, and connect with each other. Through this project, I really love connecting with my classmates, where we got to see everyone's perspectives on these issues. You're able to enjoy our time by having mukbangs at different places in each other's houses. And I honestly love being around them because they are the most important people in my life. Assalamu my name is Moza and I'll be attending Middlebury College next year. For the past six years, MET and OIA have taught me the importance of taking your academic life seriously and how to use our resources wisely to um, better our community, whether that's our intellect, our hearts, or our time. Our teachers are very dedicated to their students, either by helping us one-on-one -on -one or helping foster any ideas or dreams that we may have. Uh, for example, I was given a great deal of support in starting a swimming club back in my sophomore year. There was a need for one and I was given the resources to implement my plans. In general, we have been taught these steps towards healing and unifying the community in which we work together to better not only our lives, but the lives of others as well. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Rakhleed. I will be attending Oregon State in the fall. And one way MET has impacted me is how it taught me to interact with people from different backgrounds and uh, to be able to represent myself in um, very diverse circles and bring my own perspective to a table where there are many voices that come from uh, different walks of life and have different interests and different viewpoints. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Idris Ibrahim. I am currently a graduating senior here at Muslim Educational Trust. And next year I will be going to PSU, Portland State University. Um, and the question presented is, how did MET impact your life? Um, I've been here since fifth grade and through various teachers helping me find my way, the Islamic community that's present here that you might not be able to find at an, uh, different establishments uh, like a public school. Um, I feel like it really paved the way for me to be where I am right now. Um, big shout out to all the different teachers that are still currently with us that have left. Um, thank you, Amma Wajdi. Um, and he really instilled a lot of different values in us such as no monkey business. I will always remember that. Um, even in college and uh, yeah I really I just think I've I have a lot of memories here almost eight nine years worth of memories at MET and I definitely going forward uh, want to give back to the community and inshallah 
good things come my way and good things come to MET. My name is Bahar and I am part of the 2022 graduating class and I will be attending Portland State in fall inshallah. Uh, I've been going to MET since I was 12 years old and I am very thankful and grateful to be part of such amazing, engaging and inclusive community and the teachers and my classmates really feel like family to me. Um, MET does a really great job of um, solidifying your Islamic values and your Islamic identity within you, so I am very thankful and grateful for that. Um, as for the academics, it is quite challenging and difficult, but it does get easier um, towards the end of senior year, specifically the last term. So I hope that motivates you to keep on going. I do plan to be part of MET, inshallah, uh, even after I graduate, so hopefully you guys will still see me around. Assalamualaikum. My name is Adil Mohammed. I am a senior here at the Oregon Islamic Academy and I'll possibly be attending Claremont McKenna College in Claremont, California. Now, MET has impacted me in a plethora of different ways, but what is probably the most impressive about MET is that it not only serves as a school, but as a community. And I think even though the whole quote-unquote community seems cliche by now, it really is one of the most cardinal aspects of MET. The small class sizes nurture not only an environment that promotes learning, but an environment that makes you feel like you are contributing to someone, something aside from your own success. Contributing to a greater good. Uh, I remember a time when I was at MET around Aisha time and a lot of the high school boys had stopped in the middle of their basketball practice to pray. At once the gym turned quiet in worship and supplication. Whilst listening to teacher Muhammad's recitation of the Quran during prayer, hearing the graceful footsteps of the raindrops on the rooftop, the vicious backdrop of thunder occasionally shaking the earth, time stood still. It was a small amount, but I truly felt at one with not only the people around me, but with the messages, building and ground underneath me. MET has impacted my life in one main way, has helped me realize the spiritual benefits of connection and possibly the most efficient way of gaining spirituality through uplifting one another and unity among ourselves. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Malik Shams and I'm going to be attending University of Portland next year inshallah. Uh, I believe MET has really helped me establish this balance between my faith and my academic life just because of how much it incorporates Islam within its curriculum um, as well as just our daily school routine. Um, our teachers always emphasize different values and um, something that Amwaji always taught us is to always have hope and resilience and that is something I'm definitely going to take away with me after I leave MET inshallah. I've attended MET since I was about three years old so it's always been great to have this community that always supports me and that I could always lean back on so I'm definitely very grateful for that.